So I just had to respond to a lot of the rhetoric and fake news, honestly, that I'm, that I'm seeing online because as a part of the left, I do feel responsible for the rhetoric of some on the left. Left, I guess that's what they are. Um, and I think that it's harming w the electoral race and everything that's going on in progressive politics right now. So first, let me start off by saying that in my objective analysis of the race so far, in my objective analysis uh, of the situation from a progressive perspective, I believe that Bernie Sanders is the better candidate compared to Elizabeth Warren. So is that clear enough for everyone? Bernie Sanders is the more progressive candidate. He is the best candidate versus Donald Trump as it stands right now. I don't think that's going to change, but I'm just throwing that caveat in there because I, it's not static. I adore Bernie Sanders. I supported him vociferously during the primary in 2016. I have never in my lifetime seen a presidential candidate with his bravery, with his proven track record, with his gumption, with his kindness. And I don't know that I'll ever see that again in another presidential candidate, as long as I live. Seriously, that's how special Bernie Sanders is. But I, Elizabeth Warren has not been endorsed by Goldman Sachs financial firms or the Young Turks, okay? These are conspiracy theories that are floating online and I'm seeing them everywhere. And it's really harmful because this is not who we should be on the left. It's counterfactual. Elizabeth Warren is despised by Wall Street. She started the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which they hate. And she predicted the financial crash years before it happened while she was cru crusading to crack down on Wall Street greed. That's how she got to the Senate in the first place. Being an anti-Wall Street, not anti, but really tough on Wall Street. She's been known for years as the most tough on Wall Street Senator in the entire Senate. Her reputation was more, uh, that was that she was more aggressive than Bernie Sanders on Wall Street Greed. So there are many criticisms to be leveled at Warren. I think that she's certainly the second most progressive Senator in the race. If we wanna talk about Medicare for all, yes, she has been a little bit waffly on that, but you know, for example, Tulsi Gabbard didn't, was not a co-sponsor of the first iteration of Medicare for All in the House. She signed on when it became more popular. So if you're a Tulsi Gabbard supporter who's going after Warren on Medicare for All, you're just, you're hypocritical. You're hypocritical. And yes, Elizabeth Warren hasn't ruled out big donor money in the general election. She used the unilateral disarmament uh, talking point, which I totally disagree with. And uh, yes, she inexplicably voted for Trump's military budget in this weird display of bipartisanship that didn't make sense. Her record on foreign policy is certainly more to the right of Bernie Sanders and, and I, is far to the right of mine. And I, I totally think that's a legitimate criticism. He is the more progressive candidate for sure, 100%. But when it comes to Wall Street, financial ma matters, they are both phenomenal progressives phenomenal progressives. And don't take it from me, take it from Wall Street executives who Vox interviewed and who said that while they hate Trump, they despise him and his rhetoric and all of that and the uncertainty that he brings to the markets, they would vote for him over Warren because she's that scary to them. There are numerous people who I speak to who can't stand Donald Trump and are eager to vote for a Democrat, but who would nevertheless vote for Trump if it's a choice between him and Warren. She is the one person who is toxic for the business community, one fund manager said. One financial services CEO told Vox that if Warren were the choice, he would write in Michael Bloomberg. Her administration would have a very antagonistic approach toward the financial services industry, and it would not be good for the economy or financial markets, Tim Anderson, the managing director at TJM Investments said. So are we done there? There are legitimate criticisms of Elizabeth Warren, this is not one of them. This is not one of them. And I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of the recycling of criticisms of Hillary Clinton to attack an entirely different candidate in Elizabeth Warren. Because, like, what? They're, uh, they kind of look alike? They look like they could be sisters? I don't understand it. I do not understand it. And we're supposed to be principled on the left. And looking at facts and policy, they are entirely different candidates. Elizabeth Warren is a progressive even though she does have question marks around certain parts of her record. This is not controversial to say, but I'm sure it will be. I'm sure this video will get downvoted 
like hell because of this irrational hatred towards the second most progressive candidate in the race. It's trendy online to dislike her. There are a lot, a lot of YouTube personalities, a lot of people in the progressive community who have made it very clear that they're going to go after Elizabeth Warren. They've made careers, they've made money out of telling people what they want to hear and jumping on a certain bandwagon. Eh, I'm not one of those people. They don't care about facts in many instances and I'm not going to be one of those people. So, sorry. And Elizabeth Warren does not deserve these kinds of smears. And again, Bernie Sanders has embraced her, not just as a personal friend, but an ideological ally. And that should tell you everything you need to know about how, how ridiculous this has been.